Hello, this is Haley with the Flint Area Association of Realtors. The purpose of these videos are to introduce you to programs and apps that can help you as Realtors in your everyday activities. Today I will be introducing an app called Sign Now. This app enables you to create a signature that can be placed on a document as well as preparing documents for others to sign. This app is available for those running the Apple iOS and Android systems. In this tutorial, we will be using the Apple iOS on an iPad. Select the App Store on your Apple-based device to be taken to the search for download location by typing in the name Sign Now. Once found, select the installation option. Once installed, select Create Free Account. Once the account is created, this will be the screen you will sign in by using the login selection. Enter your email address you wish to link to the application. Then enter a password and select the Create Free icon. Once the account has been created, the application will be automatically directed to the document screen. From this screen, you may select the menu icon as shown to access the listed options. Using the legal form option, you have access to pre-made documents for which you may complete using the Sign Now application. The account menu screen shows your registration date, current 30-day monthly dates, and numbers of documents used. You can also input your name in this location. Using the Sign Now application, you can create a team of which individuals who can create documents that any individual with admin rights will be able to download. As with most applications, there is a pro version that you may purchase to make more options available. The options icon on the bottom of the menu screen is where you can access those options that are available for you to use in the document creation. Using the help selection at the bottom of the menu screen, you can access help features such as tutorials on using the Sign Now application. To add a document, select the plus icon in the top right corner of the document screen. A menu will appear showing you the list of ways to start your creation. We will use the take a photo option to start on in this video. Once the photo is taken, you can select done if you are satisfied with the photo or retake if you are not satisfied. Tap anywhere on the screen to start adding text or signatures. When insert signature is selected from the basic options pop up, it will take you to a screen where you will be able to create your signature with using your finger to write or a stylus if one is available. You can choose what style of writing utensil you wish to use as well as the color of ink. Select done when satisfied. Once the signature is selected, it will appear on the screen highlighted with a box around it. Use your finger or stylus to move the signature into the location you want. You have the option to add text to the document using the insert text feature. You also have the option of adding dates to your documents using the insert today's date option. With all additions, you have the ability to adjust the size or to remove them all together. To do this, just tap the added feature and the option will appear above the corresponding line. On the same pop-up, you will insert signatures. If you select fields from the top options, 
You can add labels showing those individuals you are sending the document to where and what they are requiring to input. When the document you have been creating is complete, or if you wish to save it for later, select Done and you will be prompted to save the document. When you have documents in your account, you may touch or select the Documents area and a drop-down menu will appear with links to specific file locations. When a document is visible on the screen, you may touch the document to open an options screen with tasks that you may use on the document. In this screen, we will see that you may send the document for signing. In this screen, you will see that you are able to email a copy of the document to a recipient. When the More option button is selected, it opens up another screen allowing you to create a template, add or edit your field, export, print, or delete the document altogether. Pictured here is a look at what those screens look like when selected. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you all. And until next time, this is Haley with the Flint Area Association of Realtors. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.